Hi, and welcome to our Confluence Cloud session on faster, smarter onboarding and better employee experiences with Confluence. My name is Jenna, and I'm a product marketing manager here at Atlassian. I'm joined today by my colleague, Tiffany, and Tiffany is one of our product managers on Confluence. We're excited about today's session because there's real relevancy in this topic for anyone who's managing a team, who's part of a team, or anyone who cares about the well-being of their teams and their companies. We're all familiar with the great resignation or the great reshuffle. If you're not, the term refers to the 33 million people who have quit their jobs since spring of 2021 in search of better opportunities. The demand for talent has been high and the increase in available opportunities has given the power back to the job seeker. And they're interested in more than just a paycheck. While work-life balance is a term companies have floated for years, Logging off at five every day doesn't mean your employees are happy or set up for success. In the reality we live in today, with countless opportunities only a LinkedIn message away, work-life balance just doesn't cut it anymore. Employees' needs have changed. They value transparency and flexibility, and yes, they still expect work-life balance. Today, we need to go a step further to gain and retain talent. We need to meet employees where they're at, and that's where Confluence comes in. Today, we're going to dive into how you can use Confluence to gain and retain talent in today's world. And this isn't just for UHR folks. First, we'll look at how Confluence can help create a better onboarding experience for new hires and discuss best onboarding practices for maintenance and organization. Then, we'll look at retaining those employees and creating an optimal experience for where they're at today so you can ensure that you don't have any knowledge leave even if your contributors do. We'll also be sharing upcoming features throughout today's session, so make sure to keep an ear out for those. We're so excited about this topic. It's affecting so many companies, regardless of industry. On a personal note, I know how important this topic is, as I actually joined Atlassian last fall, so I experienced this shift in onboarding firsthand. It's an extremely timely discussion, and I can't wait to dive in. All right, with that, I'm going to hand it over to Tiff. Thanks, Jenna. I'm excited to get started. Now let's think back to a time when you were new to an organization. Maybe it was five years ago or maybe five months ago. Remember how easy it was to feel lost or confused? Yeah, that's the last thing we want our new employees to feel. We want them to feel welcomed, to feel valued, and quite frankly, we want them to know that we put a lot of thought into their arrival. So where does Confluence come in? Well, I'm glad you asked. The beauty of Confluence is that it's a chameleon. It can become virtually anything you want it to be. And that includes a home for new employee onboarding. Let's take a look. So much about how we work has changed over the last two years that new playbooks are needed. As leaders, we need to help our team succeed in this new way of working. With customizable pre-built templates, you don't have to start from scratch. And for employee onboarding, the 90-day template is a great place to start. A convenient feature of templates is how easy they are to customize if the original template doesn't 100% meet your needs. For example, add a header image and title emoji to create a more personal experience, or use the table macro to create a new section on the page. When documenting important information for your new hire, you can include internal or external links and choose how you want them to be displayed. You can even embed pages within your page. As your employee gets acclimated, provide them with guiding thoughts as they get started and introduce them to the team. The user profile macro is a great jumping off point for employee introductions. Now they feel welcomed and they're starting to familiarize themselves with the people on their team. The user profile macro is actually one of my favorites, Tiff. I think it's also worth noting too at this point that site admins can create their own templates from scratch and then they can save them for others in their organization to use. Great point. Now I want to pivot though and look at onboarding from a different angle. We just looked at how we can use Confluence to create a plan for new hires. Now I want to look at how organizations can keep important documentation accessible and relevant for employees. We know certain information is especially valuable in the onboarding period because that's when employees are first being introduced to company policies, handbooks, and more. Let's take a deeper look at keeping that information organized and discoverable in Confluence. If we go back to the page we created for our new hire, You can see that as we published it, it's saved as a standalone page within our page tree. It's not nested within a parent page and you have to scroll to find it. New hires already feel lost, so it's important to create an intuitive space for new hire docs. 
When you create a new page, it can serve as a parent page for other docs. Then you can drag and drop pages underneath each other to keep them organized by topic, for example. This makes your content more intuitive and helps your employee get acclimated quickly. A great trick here is to use the children display macro. Right now, the parent page is blank, but when you add the children display macro, you automatically pull in all the pages that live within the section and create another way for users to find what they need. It's easy to see why intuitive navigation is important. Confluence houses a lot of information, and it's important that your new hire can find the resources they need to be successful with the least amount of friction. The Home tab is also a great place to find recent documents and spaces you visited or starred. It can also see what's happening in your org using the popular feed. Our teams are constantly working on more features that help our users discover content. And here's where I'll plug an upcoming feature called End of Page Recommendations. This feature is aptly named as it exists in the area at the end of a page and provides reading recommendations for viewers. I love this for new hires because as they're scrolling through content, Confluence will now promote related pages that could be beneficial to the reader based on what they're already viewing. We've been using this internally and it's been great for new hires to quickly on-ramp to the team's work. This feature will be rolled out to the users in the coming months. Continuing with the theme, another layer of searchability is Confluence labels. Labels makes it easy to organize and find pages. You can create a label in either edit mode or in publish mode by heading to the bottom of the page. When you click on a label, it will take you to an index of labels in your space. Selecting a label from the index will show you a list of content tagged with the same nomenclature. We suggest creating standardized labels so you can keep your site as streamlined as possible. So for all new hire content, you can label it new hire or for benefit information, label it 2022 benefits. This not only makes it easy for you and your new hire to find what you need, but it also makes it easy to audit existing content to ensure that it's up to date. We know that keeping information up to date is super important for companies. Things get outdated really fast, so it's important that we have an easy way to track down what's out there. Exactly. So many teams come to Confluence looking for a solution to this problem, and honestly, labels just scratches the surface of ways Confluence can audit your pages, depending on your plan, Admins can also archive pages in batches, which is a huge time saver for keeping content relevant. Confluence really is a comprehensive tool for onboarding. You can create onboarding pages and spaces for your new hire, keep relevant employee information available and up to date like handbooks and benefits, and you can easily audit and find all of it with a few tricks. And realistically, that will benefit all employees. It's really true, Tiff. Um, I actually think that's a great segue to switch gears into our next topic. So with that, I'm going to switch over to what we're speaking about next. All right. I am pumped to talk about how Confluence can improve the employee experience because while well, yes, as an advocate for Confluence, I love what Confluence can do for an organization, but I'm also just an everyday employee who has seen firsthand the difference it makes when employees feel their success is supported by their company. A little bit of background, um, admittedly, I'm a millennial. And while you may think that means I joined the workforce feeling entitled to special benefits, you would be surprised. My career started when remote work was basically non-existent. I didn't even have a laptop to take home if I wanted to. Requesting too much time off work was frowned upon and often denied, and arriving five minutes late to the office meant you were a slacker in the eyes of management. Today, the world looks a little different. I now work 100% remotely. I plan time off knowing my team encourages taking time to recharge. And if I start my day late because something came up, it's okay, so long as my work doesn't suffer. Times have seriously changed and myself along with so many others are more engaged and motivated to do amazing work because of it. When you look at things like remote work, paid time off and flexible schedules, they're really just examples of key themes the workforce craves greater work-life balance, transparency in the workplace, and working in ways that enable both. Confluence feeds into these ideas, and we're gonna take a look at how our open, searchable, and organized format allows teams to work faster, smarter, and transparently together. Let's dive in. At a macro level, Confluence gives teams the ability to work cross-functionally, cross-country, even across continents. In short, Confluence exists to make working from anywhere together easier. It's our answer to the way employees want to work today. 
quite frankly, it's the new office. Think about it. Short emails are now inline comments on working pages. Meetings are a page with team updates and organizational announcements are now blogs. Sure, Zoom calls and Slack messages still happen, but with Confluence, you give valuable time back to your employees. This asynchronous way of working bolsters employee happiness. It's replacing that nine to five grind of being glued to your desk for eight consecutive hours every day. We all have lives outside of work, yet we know the work needs to get done. For me personally, I turn to the Confluence mobile app when I need to run out during the day. That way I'm always connected, I can check on the latest action on a project and make any necessary comments and approvals. I'm not bound by my desk at home, and it's amazing what that does for my well-being. But when I am at home, I know I can easily work with my teammates in other time zones using inline comments to tag my colleagues, suggest edits, or ask questions. And because I'm able to comment directly on the page, my team isn't switching back and forth between tabs, trying to figure out what section my comment applied to. It is crystal clear in Confluence. Now, a lot of my work is collaborative with other teams. Uh, we do most of our work together in a team space, but I grew up using a notepad to jot down my half-baked thoughts and ideas. So it's still important to me that I have some sort of space like that. And with Confluence, I do in my personal space. If you were to look at my personal space, it would appear as sort of a mess. It's not at all organized like the other spaces I work in, but it's my space for my thoughts and ideas, and it works for me. I have pages for content ideas, subject lines, and I even keep a page dedicated to questions I have and would like answered. I highly encourage telling your teams about their personal space and encouraging them to use it. And remember, they can always change their page restrictions if they want to keep something more private. That said, I promise sharing your content widely yields the best results. Recently, I created a page in my personal space where I reimagined a web design. I looked at what I thought worked, what didn't work, and how I thought we should be telling the story on the page. I didn't share it with anyone, so I didn't really expect many people to happen upon it. But to my surprise, a handful of people did, and the feedback that they gave me was just what I needed to hear. And that's all thanks to the transparency and confluence. Now, transparency has turned into almost something of a buzzword nowadays, but for good reason. Employees want to feel connected to their workplace, their colleagues, and what their company stands for. They don't just want updates from their manager, they want to hear them firsthand from leadership. When an organization embraces transparency, great things happen. Now let's take a deeper look at how that manifests in Confluence. Confluence is open by default. This means when your employees create a page or a space, it's automatically available to everyone who's been invited to your site. Yes, you can set different permissions and page restrictions for sensitive information. And in fact, if it is sensitive, we actually encourage doing that. But what we found is that when teams keep their work open and flexible, better work happens. But how do we know that? Well, Confluence is definitely lacking a crystal ball feature, but it's not lacking insights and analytics. With page insights, your employees can see how their pages are performing. They get insights into how many users have looked at their page, the number of page visits, and how many comments there are. This data helps your employees understand if their content is working. If your employees aren't tapping into these insights, make sure they know about them. Seeing metrics on their pages will get them more engaged in what they're putting out there. Now, depending on your plan, analytics takes insights a step further. With analytics, your employees can learn more about who is interacting with their pages while admins can see space and page level reporting and search metrics. This helps admins better understand how employees are engaging and use that information to make better decisions about resources and content. Now, when I think about what it means to bring balance and transparency together in the workplace, one word keeps sticking out at me, and that's flexibility. Employees want flexibility. So how can Confluence be flexible in a way that benefits employees? Well, Confluence can solve for a lot of teams. It solves for documentation, knowledge sharing, and as we learned today, it can solve for onboarding. Confluence is a powerful tool on its own, but when it joins forces with another product or application, the results are really amazing. The Atlassian Marketplace lets your teams integrate the tools they're already using into Confluence for a more streamlined way of working. There are also hundreds of applications available that adapt to Confluence's feature set and fit your team's distinct workflows. Some of my favorite integrations are Slack, Draw.io, and ScriptRunner. Pretty much anything that makes my page look better. 
And in that sense, I probably fit every marketing stereotype there is, as I love my work to be visually appealing. Half of that is selfish. I like to look at a pretty page, but half of that is actually strategic. Visually appealing pages are proven to get more engagement. Now, I'm not suggesting your employees try their best Picasso when they create their next page, but I am suggesting they switch up how they depict information in their pages. For example, a table macro is great, but let's be real, numbers in a table can feel limiting. If your team is sharing data, it needs to be digestible and easy to disseminate. Our teams are adding a new element to the table macro to answer that call. Coming soon, your team will be able to convert information in a table into a bar, line, or pie chart. You will also be able to edit the elements within Confluence and the changes will automatically be reflected in your page. So you can see how Confluence makes it easier for employees to get work done in the way that they want. Work-life balance is encouraged with asynchronous teamwork using inline commenting and reactions. The transparency your employees crave is alive in the open by default culture and is bolstered by the content your organization fills its pages with. And the flexibility teams want exists in the editor in the various and evolving features and capabilities. I hope you come away from this session with one or two nuggets you can take back to your organization. To wrap up our session, I want to leave you with a recap of the new features that we mentioned today and some other ones that you have to look forward to. I hope you enjoyed this session as much as we did. Thank you for tuning in.